Well, in this video, I'm just going to touch on a couple things that's been on my mind here lately. For one, the Palm Pre or whatever that phone is, how they're attacking Apple because they won't open up the iTunes store to their phone. They're suing Apple because they won't let the Palm Pre access the App Store and whatnot. I say that's Apple's God-given right. If I invent a company or open a store, I have every damn right to tell anybody I want, I'm not selling your stuff. Or I don't want your stuff working with my stuff. I have every right to do that. And just because Apple's got majority of the market share don't mean that they're a monopoly people. I'm in a little small town and Walmart's the only shopping center we've got in this town. Is that a monopoly? Apple don't have to open their door, their iTunes doors to any other phone. And if you ask me, it's a last ditch effort to make their product mean something. They've invested millions of dollars in R&D, millions of dollars in these commercials. I read they really needed this product to work and the iPhone is just killing it. So now I think they're in a last ditch effort to make something happen. So they're going to sue. And I think the same thing is going on with Google. I think Google could give a shit about the, the nuts and bolts of this rejection of their Google Voice app. I think it's a tit for tat thing. I think it's Google trying to trying to assert dominance over Apple early in the game, trying to tell them, hey, you're not going to pull your fucking bullshit with us. We're fucking Google. You're not going to treat us the same way that you treat everybody else. And I think that's what they're doing. This is Google's last ditch effort to try to make Apple and the iStore, iTunes, bend to their will. Everybody's so upset about it that Apple's getting 90% of the pie and they're not getting any. But when Google was 90% of search, that was okay with them. I think it's Palm and Google's last ditch effort to assert dominance over the iTunes platform and they're going to try and come in there and say, listen, you're not doing us this fucking way. We'll show you. You try to do us this way, we're going to fucking take you to the FCC. Blah, 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 blah. That's what I think this is. I think it's fucking uh, an ego boost for, for Google if they could assert their dominance over Apple and win this, ca and win this, this case. Um, somebody says, oh, Google has a time bomb if Apple don't do what Google wants. Google has a secret screenshot of the rejection letter that Apple sent Google. Apple said they didn't reject it, but somebody says they have a screenshot of the email. And I call bullshit on that. Why the hell would somebody take a screenshot of an email address, email message? Don't you just have those emails on your computer? Don't you save them? Don't you archive them? Don't you back it up? What in the God's name reason would you take a screenshot of an email for when you could just send the, the original email? That sounds fishy to me. And, and Google, I'm serious, Google, they got YouTube and Google AdSense, and I do make money off of them and stuff, but I'm getting to the point to where I'm more, more hateful and resentful and spiteful towards Google than I am Microsoft. I'm really, really, at least Microsoft never actually attacked Apple with FCC shit or trying to sue people. Palm's trying to sue them. I mean, at least Microsoft played the game like it was supposed to be played, like between it is us Mac guys versus PC guys on YouTube. We fight, we cuss, we holler, we get punches in on each other, we, we, we insult each other, but it's all fun. It's all, it's all fun. Nobody is running to sue somebody or nobody's telling on people for copyright infringement like they used to. I mean, it's, it, it's a battle, but it's a fair battle and people understand that lines are drawn. And I think Microsoft understands this. In the years and years and years that they've been competing, I don't know how many times has Microsoft ever, ever tried to sue or get government involved with Apple? I don't know, but it don't seem like it. So Google is really beginning to take my high spot on the list of companies to see knocked down a notch. Um, I believe Microsoft has been knocked down a notch. Um, now I think it's Google's turn. Um, so moving on, um, I just read an article that said, uh, survey, 60% of companies will not upgrade or 60% of companies will skip Windows 7. Let me read this from my Apple blog here. It says, this is a case where history is coming back to bite Microsoft. In a recent survey done by ScriptLogic, 60% of respondents say they will skip Microsoft's latest operating system when it's released later this year. 
that 60% that have no plans to deploy the OS at all. A further 34% said they'll deploy it by the end of 2010, and a minuscule 5.5% said they'd deploy it by the end of 2009. Those are pretty dismal numbers for a company that's banking on its new OS to pull it out of the fucking um, sewers that it's in now, um, caused by Vista. The legacy of Windows Vista is really hurting Microsoft at this point. Many companies viewed that operating system as unstable, leaving some of its biggest corporate clients staying with XP, including Intel. One of the biggest concerns that companies had with moving to Windows 7 was a worry about compatibility with their existing hardware and software. And if you don't get new hardware, it's going to be the same thing. People that have old, had hardware, they had this hardware, they went to Windows Vista and figured out Windows Vista didn't work, so they took Vista off their machine and put XP back on it. What makes them think Windows 7 is going to run on that machine any better than Vista did? People, if you got a machine running XP and it's not, and it's old, you're going to have to upgrade to take advantage of Windows 7. Well, maybe not. Maybe you can use a starter edition or something. But if Vista wouldn't work on your hardware, don't be under the illusion that Windows 7 is going to work on your hardware. If you're one of them type of people that have older hardware, you tried Vista and it didn't work, don't expect Windows 7 to work on that hardware. That's just ridiculous. Microsoft made its bed when they released Vista, a half a, a half-hearted release at best. In my opinion, it was a public beta that they made people pay for. Now they are suffering the consequences when some of the most reliable customers are not going to upgrade. Of course, Microsoft also botched the pricing for Windows 7 too, so it doesn't look like they're going to have a successful launch. Consumers will get the OS whenever they buy a new computer, so they can count those, but that's not the same as having corporations around the world upgrading. In a few years, everybody will be in Windows 7 because everybody's going to eventually buy new machines, but nobody's going to upgrade. It's not going to be... It's, it's, people will upgrade, but they're not going to have that many people upgrade. Um, Microsoft has just really, really, really done it to themselves with Vista. Okay? Um, is there anything else I want to go over here really fast? I've got, I'm looking at my page here. You all can go check out some of my new articles that I've got. Uh, Jim, Daryl, I can't pronounce his last name, but he had, I, he's found, I found a lot of good articles by him that I've posted on my blog that are really great. You all should check them out. And um, can you believe that Microsoft is going to put gurus in their store? Can you believe that? Um, a guru in your retail store. It says, I really need to stop being so surprised at the links companies will go to to copy the success of Apple's products, culture, and now apparently even its retail stores. Leaked documents reported last week by Gizmodo revealed that many of the elements Microsoft would adopt. Let's see, where was I? For its new retail initiative, closely resembles those of Apple. According to the photos of the proposed store, there will be a Windows 7 PC TV and smartphone sections along the walls. In the center, there will be tables with products on them. Uh, labeled learn. Now for the best part, the Microsoft Store will have a guru bar. This must be where you take your computer to have the genius, oops, sorry, guru, take all the viruses and malware off your system. So, widgets, gadgets, genius, guru, come on Microsoft, get out of Apple's ass and have your own ideas. What is this bullcrap about people wanting to smash open the iPhone? What right does anybody have to say, Apple, you have to allow your phone on these carriers. Apple, you have to allow these phones to access your app store. What right does the FCC government or anybody have? FCC is now spearheading this new open internet. And guess who's directly behind the FCC? Google. Um, there are hundreds of phones out there that you can only buy and use on certain networks. I can take you to a Sprint store, a Verizon store, and show you exclusive phones in every store that you can't get and take to AT&T, or you can't go to Verizon and buy any phone you want and then take it to, you know, Sprint. They are, there's some phones you can, but there are certain exclusive phones that Sprint sells that you can only use with Sprint service, or certain phones that Verizon sells that you can only use with Verizon service. Now, everybody's opening their own app store. Um, are all these app stores going to make their products available to the iPhone users? I mean, it's completely ridiculous. And anybody who thinks the iPhone needs to be smashed open is just, is just um, a bitter, jealous, 
blowhard, and I have no idea why you all think iPhones should be treated any different than anybody else. OS 10.